As you can see guys this was the first gameplay of God of War 3 on a Mali device and as you can see the gameplay was so terrible and with lot of graphical glitches with the latest update of RPC 3 version 6 guys everything has changed so with the latest update we now have huge performance improvement APS has increased so we are now achieving even 25 APS that on a mid range Mali device guys which was previously we were hitting hardly 5 to 6 fps and now we are achieving about 25 can you imagine the performance improvement that we have just got with the latest update and some best settings that i'm going to show you in a few moments so just stay tuned with the video guys and without further delay let's begin okay so now let me quickly show you my settings that i have used to run god of War 3 with so much better performance in a mid-range dimensity device so guys for that you can just tap here now from here just go to settings now uh, from here just go to advanced settings now go to course now here you'll find out option says ppu threads just change this to 8 okay just scroll down and here you'll find option called as affinities okay just tap on affinity now from affinity you have to change the uh, cpu affinities as per your processors uh, cpu arrangement right example some of the processors or some of the cores of a processor is dedicated for uh, efficiency tasks some cores are dedicated for heavy tasks so according to that you have to uh, set the uh, cpu so here let me quickly show you that SP, SPU are actually dedicated for uh, graphics rendering stuff and PPU is dedicated for uh, the CPU uh, related CPU heavy task for uh, like uh, calculating geometry and all that. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm uh, since my Dimensity 1200 has 4 efficiency core I am dedicating the 4 efficiency core to PPU okay. So this will actually increase the performance. Now uh, the rest of the uh, three codes that is 1, 2 and 3 I am dedicating to SPUs and the uh, most uh, weak codes or most non-important code which is CPU 0 I am dedicated it to RSX that's it guys. So that was uh, my setting for uh, the CPU affinity so if you want you can also copy these settings okay. Now just press back. Now just go to videos again now just scroll down little bit now change the shader precision to low okay now here since we are running god of war 3 demo so you have to take this uh, both this option which says right color buffer and right depth buffer now you will say uh, you will face the white screen issue okay now scroll down again now here you have to turn off this enable frame skip because with this latest update this enable frame skip is set to default you have to uh, just turn it off. And here you will find out another uh, option which says resolution scale you can have to change the to 50 okay it will be uh, set to 70 by default you can change it to 50. This will also uh, increase the performance. Uh, by little bit so that was a quick uh, setting of uh, rpcs3 android so you can also uh, copy this setting and you can try if it works for you because it worked for me and it increased the performance all right now that's we have set everything up let's see how god of war 3 actually runs on a dimensity 1200 device this is a real time gameplay no edit just raw performance so you can exactly see how well it plays after rpc 3 version 6 update so guys without further delay let's begin with the gameplay and as usual i'll be using a mediatek dimensity 1200 chipset device with mali g77 gpu Yes, and another big changes that has been implemented with this update is we just got the support of Bluetooth controllers. Finally, we can use any Bluetooth controller. There is no restriction of using only the DualShock controllers. Now, finally, you can use any third party controllers to play your games in RPC 3 Android. So today I'm, I'll be using my Jane game Bluetooth controller to play God of War 3. So let's see how it's work as well. <laughs> 